Today we're cooking skate wing with brown butter. I am on a mission to get people to eat more of this delicious fish. Just because Rachel Ray doesn't cook it on TV doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. Skate is a cartilaginous fish from the same family as rays. Maybe Rachel should give it a try. After all, it's the same family. So what some people call bones inside the skate wing is actually cartilage. Ask your fishmonger for skate wings on the cartilage, but without the skin. The skin is too tough, but the cartilage is very useful for keeping those thin fish fillets moist. Unlike whole fish with sharp little bones, skate is very easy to eat in this form. My wings are well trimmed around the edges, courtesy of Captain Martin's, a wonderful fish market in Wellesley, Massachusetts. But if yours aren't, take a pair of kitchen shears and trim the thin parts off. It's all cartilage and there is no need to waste valuable skillet space on it. If you don't have shears, you can even do it with a knife because the cartilage is quite soft. Now check the flesh for silver skin. I like to trim it as much as possible. If it's left on, it has a tendency to rapidly shrink in the skillet, bending the fillets. This prevents them from making good contact with the skillet and browning nicely. So those two minutes spent trimming are well worth it. Insert a boning knife under the connective tissue and cut to one side to make a flap. Pull up on that flap and cut to the other side. This is exactly how you would trim silver skin of a piece of meat. And if you need more help with this technique, check out my video on trimming a rack of lamb. A little warning for you about raw skate. It makes some people's hands tingle and burn. If you experience any discomfort, try wearing gloves when you're handling raw skate. Once it's cooked, there is no more tingling, unless of course you're allergic to skate. Skate wings are often big, and to help them fit into our skillet nicely, I like to cut them into pieces. Now that we're all trimmed, let's preheat a nonstick skillet with a bit of oil over high heat, about two teaspoons per serving. I'm using grapeseed oil, but canola or safflower work well too. Dry your skate on paper towels to make sure they brown and don't steam, and sprinkle with salt and pepper on both sides. Go easy here. Remember, the actual fillets are pretty thin, so they need a thin layer of salt. When the oil shimmers, place your skate in the pan. Since no one is home but me, I'll just cook one piece for now and save the other ones for dinner. Of course, empty spots in the skillet are bad. That's where oil overheats and sets off your fire alarms, so I'll fill them with big flat pieces of carrots. We'll cook our skate without disturbing for two minutes on the first side. When you see browning creeping up the sides, take a peek. Ah, beautiful. Let's flip. By the way, if you are salting in advance, like I am doing with my three other pieces, dry them thoroughly before cooking. Otherwise, you can kiss this gorgeous color and crispness goodbye. Now, let's cook the other side for a couple of minutes until it browns nicely. I like to baste it once in a while because pouring hot oil over brown things makes me awfully happy. But if you are busy, don't worry about it. Once both sides are brown, we'll start testing for doneness. I'll try to separate the flakes in the thickest part and see if the flesh pulls away from the cartilage. It's still a bit stuck, so let's reduce our heat to medium-low, flip it over and let this side cook another minute. Meanwhile, I'll check the other side. Always check both sides, because the fillets are almost never the same thickness. This looks good. I can easily get all the way to the cartilage. With most fish, we'd want them to be translucent at the center and still a bit stuck to the bone. But not so with skate. It tastes gummy until it's completely cooked through. Let's flip it over and see if our first side finished cooking. Much better. No more translucency and the flakes separate all the way. Let's get the skate onto a plate. Discard the carrots, wipe out the pan and make a little brown butter sauce. Put two teaspoons of butter per portion of skate into the pan set of a medium-high heat and let it melt. You might think I'm a nutcase for making brown butter in a black skillet. I guess I like living dangerously and washing unnecessary pans is terribly annoying. Nothing terrible will happen with our butter. As soon as I see the foam turn brown around the edges, 
I swirl the pan a few times and scoop the butter with a stainless steel spoon to assess its color. Looks good to me. Off the heat. Our skate needs a squirt of lemon or lime. A little sprinkling of chives or the herb of your choice. And the best part, brown butter. Now the eating part. Lift the flesh from the cartilage. Brown on one side and beautifully moist on the other. And pop it into your mouth. When you eat the whole top fillet, flip the wing over and eat the bottom fillet until all you have left is the cartilage. For more delightful fish dishes, don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in my fish class.